Hello, welcome to Flying the Bears uh, with another uh, journey 60. Uh, in today's journey, uh, I will be doing uh, salvaging in the 3.8 uh, testing uh, server, 3.18, sorry, 3.18 TTU, uh, uh, the test uh, server, using a Drake uh, butcher. The Drake butcher has uh, 12 uh, SUs of cargo, uh, but as you will see, uh, we will be able to uh, to have a cargo of uh, 23 uh, SUs. <laughs> okay, uh, to do the salvaging, uh, you have to go uh, to Lagrange points. Uh, I am in Port Tesla. Uh, so I will go to the, to the nearest uh, Lagrange point and see uh, how uh, salvaging works. It has been a long time uh, since I have an, I have uh, uploaded uh, a new video, but uh, uh, I haven't done any because uh, I have uh, I have done everything uh, that we can do now in the in the Star Citizen universe. So uh, that's why I haven't uploaded any new videos, and this one is just because. Uh, we can test uh, the salvaging uh, in the testing universe. Uh, you can test the butcher and you can test the, the reclaimer. But uh, the reclaimer, uh, it can hold uh, 300 uh, SUs of cargo, so it can hold uh, 300 boxes of, of salvaging. But you need uh, a crew, you need uh, one guy uh, flying the ship, uh, you need two guys more uh, for the salvaging beams, and then you need minimum one guy more uh, that has to be in the, in the salvaging uh, processing uh, unit uh, to move the, the packages. So. Okay, to access the, the salvaging uh, beams, uh, just press M, and you will see you have uh, two of them. Uh, you can, uh, using your right uh, mouse button, you can uh, change the diameter of the beam. You have one of 1.5, uh, and the other one is of uh, 3.5 uh, meters. The, one, the little one, the 1.5 uh, meter diameter, uh, is used for salvaging little ships or little uh, pieces and the 3.5 diameter is used for salvaging bigger uh, ships and you will see that there is a difference in the speed and uh, the efficiency the, the beam with 1.5 diameter is, uh, is faster and has uh, higher efficiency than the one of uh, 3.5, but the one of 3.5 of the surface uh, you are salvaging is proportional to the diameter square. It means that the surface uh, you are salvaging is multiplied by 5.4 times when using the bigger one. But it's, uh, it has lower speed and it's less efficient, so use the big one uh, for bigger ships. Okay. So to find salvaging, you just need to use the ping uh, to scan the area, and when you see that icon, that icon that uh, is for, uh, it means that there there is something you can salvage. Okay, just uh, get close to it. It's an aging titan. It's a little ship, so I will use the the 1.5 meters diameter beams. Uh, at the bottom you will see that there are two uh, 
to circumferences that now are being zero uh, percent. This is the material that is be missing. As you can see, now they are seeing materials. And that crosshair at the, that that has two horizontal lines is the convergence of the two beams. You can change the, dist the convergence distance. Now it's at zero meters. It means that both beams are pointing at the same place. Uh, <coughs> so they, they will sweep the same area. You can change uh, the convergence uh, using uh, left out and middle mouse bit uh, and the middle mouse button. Okay. And after doing some salvaging, I will recommend that you always move uh, the beams uh, uh, vertically, not horizontally, because uh, uh, if not, uh, some of the beams uh, will see more material than the one on the other side. Uh, so it's more efficient if you move them uh, vertically. You can also use uh, gyroscope mode by uh, pressing G the golf key G. and then you will see that there is uh, the cargo is is, uh, is increasing uh, when the cargo is full uh, it will automatically uh, generate a, a box uh, one SU uh, box when it is generating that box uh, it is not gathering materials uh, so you will lose uh, if you keep uh, gathering materials you will lose uh, the material during that process of making that box so I stop uh, gathering when uh, you will see a message uh, when it is full Now it's full, now it's generating a, a one SCU box. Okay, and now you can continue gathering material. Uh, this yellow and red colors, uh, I am not sure what it is. I think it's that uh, when it is red, uh, you cannot gather any material. Uh, so the parts that are red colored, I think that uh, they cannot be salvaged. Okay. Also try uh, uh, to stay in a 90 degree angle uh, in respect with the beams to the target so that you can see better the, the surface that you are salvaging. And uh, you will need a tractor beam uh, because you have to move the packages uh, manually. Uh, now when we deliver, when the second package is full, uh, you will see a message that the uh, that it cannot uh, eject it because there is another package uh, that has already been ejected and there is not uh, enough room in the conveyor belt. So you have to go to the to the cargo bay and and move the, the boxes manually. So you will need a tractor beam. Uh, so you need a multi-tool and, and a tractor beam attachment. If you don't have one, uh, you can purchase them, or uh, <laughs> you will see that you can generate uh, a tractor beam and, uh, and the multi-tool uh, with the salvage materials. Uh, you will see it in a moment, I will show you. 
and you can also generate uh, two items more that I think that they can be used to do salvaging uh, manually, uh, uh, like uh, it's like a multi-tool attachment for, for salvaging, but I have not tested this, so I'm not sure. And now you can see it, this is red colored uh, and I, I don't understand what, what does it mean. Uh, because I am savaging this, this side of the ship, but it's red color, I don't know what those colors mean. will be your time spent uh, moving and, and doing salvaging. At the end of the video, uh, I will give numbers uh, about the, uh, the profits uh, made per hour. Uh, they are pretty good. Uh, and uh, it's, uh, it's easy to, to do salvaging. It's not complicated, as you can see. Uh, So uh, right now uh, it is nice, uh, but this is a testing server. Uh, I don't know how it will be uh, in the live server uh, when the next uh, 3.18 patch is uh, delivered. I, I don't know. Uh, I don't know if uh, we will have problems uh, regarding uh, piracy. Uh, I am not sure. Uh, this ship has two, uh, two laser repeaters, so mm, it's an easy target uh, for pirates. Now I will go down to the cargo bay and move uh, the boxes. This one has been ejected automatically, and now I will use a tractor beam to move it to the cargo space. And now I will eject uh, the second one manually. And I will also move it uh, out of the conveyor belt so that it can eject automatically the next one. Okay. And this has to be done manually. You must uh, organize the cargo in the cargo space. And this is where you can create a, a pillow multi tool and a tractor beam attachment and two things more that I don't know what they are. Uh, I will check in the following video. I will. I will build them, okay, to see what it is, and I will set, okay, set this auto eject uh, in auto mode. So now I can gather two two more boxes uh, before having to come back and move them. Okay, one will be automatically ejected, the other one uh, no, because there will be not the space. Uh, And as you can see, it is pretty easy. Uh, so just, uh, if you want to do it, just uh, listen to some music and, and keep doing it. 
change your phone. As the as a butcher has to uh, to listen, you can pick uh, uh, missions for uh, bounty hunting, kill some uh, <laughs> low level targets, and then uh, salvage uh, their ships. Uh, I will also test it. <coughs> Okay, here we I found uh, another Aegis Titan, and I will also salvage it. I was able to gather uh, 23 uh, boxes of salvaging, uh, so 23 uh, SEUs of cargo, and. Uh, uh, I was not sure if I will be able to sell uh, the 23 because uh, for 12 SEUs, uh, but uh, as you can uh, you can get out of the ship uh, from a ladder uh, at the left side of the cockpit. Yeah, you don't have to get out from the cargo bay. Uh, I just filled up all the cargo bay uh, to see if I could uh, sell all of them. And you will see at the end of the video that I will be able to sell uh, 22 boxes. And the last box that was still inside of the salvaging uh, processing unit, uh, it was not detected by the TAB. Uh, so I was not able to sell it, but uh, it's uh, still there, so if you continue doing salvaging, you still will have, uh, you will already have one box uh, full of salvage uh, inside of the salvaging unit, so it's nice. Uh, So instead of, of selling only 12 uh, units, you can sell 22 and you have still one more uh, unit. It's not fast. Uh, I spend around uh, two hours uh, to, to gather those uh, 23 SEUs. Observation. But the profits uh, were good, so it's nice. Now it's full again. Now it's ejecting uh, one package. And now I can continue gathering. Those two circumferences at the bottom uh, are measuring the material each beam is seen. Okay. That's why I think it's better to, to make uh, vertical moves instead of horizontal moves. But, uh, well. Oh, I collided with... Uh, <laughs> I don't know uh, 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 why it is stopping. Uh, in theory, we are in the vacuum, so there is no friction. Uh, it should not stop rotating, uh, but... There is no friction, uh, so if you make something rotate in space, it will just rotate. Uh, forever, uh, unless uh, there is another, uh, 
Ara de torn cap allà i tu et dius objecte de comptes d'ixa... de sang o l'espit. I don't understand why it stopped protecting. Maybe they have done it uh, for making a salvaging easier, but uh, for me, uh, this is not uh, realistic. Uh, that means that uh, you must be, uh, if it was realistic, you should be very careful to not to collide against uh, the target. I have also seen, uh, you will see later on, that I will find uh, a sea to Hercules. And you cannot, uh, you cannot salvage the, the ramps of the sea to Hercules, I don't know why. There is no material to... So there are things, that, there are components that cannot be salvaged. And I think uh, that if you find, for example, a situ Hercules, uh, you can uh, full load, uh, you can have a full load of, uh, of salvaging with the, uh, with the vulture. And now I was checking uh, how to uh, change the convergence of the, uh, of the beams. And it's uh, left out and the mouse will up and down. I was just testing and learning how to how to do salvage. It was my first time doing salvaging so and here it is uh, left out plus mouse wheel. There are other options, but I am not sure uh, what they are. As you can see now, I am changing the convergence of the beams. I think it's more efficient uh, to have the, them uh, pointing at a different uh, point. So you are increasing the area you are, you are sweeping. So you have double, you are doubling, you are multiplying by two the area now. <coughs> and that means that now uh, we will salvage faster. Okay, we are full again.
As you can see, I always stop the, the engines. Only the engines, uh, not the shields or the systems, only the engines. And we already have port and uh, ICU, so salvaging. Each container, each, each box is one ICU. Uh, As equipment, I always uh, bring with me uh, a multi-tool with a tractor beam, always. A med pen uh, with, a, with a charge, uh, uh, food and drinks, and, uh, and an FS9 uh, with ammunition, always. I always bring that with me, and always, uh, and I am always using uh, heavy armor, always, just in case. <laughs> and also, uh, for med pens. So a med gun with a, uh, with a full load and, uh, and uh, for med pens. One FS9 uh, with ammunition, one multi tool, one tractor beam, <clears throat> and heavy armor. Uh, food and drink, always. And a bad pack, of course. This is my, uh, my new machinery that I always have with me, just in case something wrong happens. I still don't understand uh, those colors, uh, yellow and red, I still don't understand what they are. Another thing that I was not doing here uh, is that uh, you uh, should always have a, a, a jump uh, point set in your, uh, in your map so that in case uh, you need to uh, run away, uh, you just uh, can't uh, move to that uh, jumping point and jump. And also you can use the, that jumping point as a reference uh, because as you have to scan for uh, for salvaging targets, uh, if you have a reference, you you will not uh, be uh, flying in circles.
so as you can see it's not fast uh, it's uh, pretty slow uh, I have cut uh, when I was scanning from for new targets uh, because I don't want the video to be very long it is, very, it is really long uh, as you will see but uh, because it's a slow it's a slow process so you have to salvage, you have to scan, you have to move the boxes. Uh, but for me, uh, it's a nice activity uh, for making profits. Uh, I don't know if this ship uh, uh, we will be able to rent it uh, in 3.18, I don't know. But uh, if we can rent it, uh, it's a pretty uh, worthy activity, to my credit. Uh, and probably uh, we will be able to, to purchase uh, this ship within game currency, so uh, it's another way of, of, of farming credits. I was clicking by error <laughs> the right uh, mouse button. So That means that uh, now uh, in 3.18 uh, we will be able to, to uh, farm uh, Alpha USCs uh, doing uh, box delivery missions, doing uh, bunker missions, uh, doing salvaging, uh, doing rock mining, uh, doing uh, continuum mining, uh, doing bounty hunting. and personal mission so uh, well it's another uh, game mechanics uh, to farm alpha UCs and uh, as you see it's easy uh, by now uh, <laughs> I don't know what will happen uh, in 3.18 uh, regarding piracy so I don't know Uh, if, I have to check it. Uh, if, for example, you can go to an asteroid uh, belt uh, do salvaging, uh, in an asteroid belt uh, it is very difficult that someone uh, finds you there. And then the only thing uh, we will have to be careful is when we are going back uh, to sell the salvage. Uh, because uh, PDH uh, will, be will be able to interdict us and to uh, rob our cargo. So we will see. Uh, we will see.
uh, we will have to be very careful and very intelligent uh, to avoid uh, being interdicted. Or maybe, uh, for example, uh, as there is a cargo refactor, and we can move uh, the cargo, uh, you can just have a friend with, uh, with a stronger ship uh, uh, transfer the, the, the salvage to that other ship and, and your friend can go and sell the cargo. Uh, but I don't know if uh, the profits, because then you will have to divide the profits uh, between the two. So I don't know, I'm not sure. If that's, uh, but well, uh, uh, it's an idea. Uh, one guy salvage and the other just uh, brings the salvage and sells it. Two guys, uh, two guys uh, are doing this. So the, the guy that is salvaging uh, uh, yeah, salvages, uh, doesn't have to, to travel to go to sell back the... And I also don't know if uh, you can purchase uh, better uh, salvaging beams, uh, I don't know. And uh, another thing that I am thinking now is that uh, if, you, if you have uh, materials that you are gathering materials uh, if then you can uh, 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 use uh, your beams also to, to repair uh, another ship uh, I don't know So now salvaging uh, it's only meant uh, for earning credits. Uh,
Another thing I have to check, uh, there is a mission uh, that you have to board uh, a reclaimer. <laughs> I don't know if I can uh, go there and salvage the last reclaimer, I don't know. Um, maybe yes, because at the end of the mission, uh, they say that uh, you have to destroy the, the reclaimer. Uh, so I think I will also check if uh, I can do the mission, uh, destroy it, and then uh, salvage it. So now we have our first six uh, one SCU box of salvaging. And as I said, uh, the, the cargo capacity uh, that is uh, defined uh, is of 12, so six more boxes. Uh, that uh, when you place them, you will see that uh, violet outline. The rest of the of the space you have there is, is so that you can move out uh, using the ramp. But as we can get out uh, from a ladder that is uh, left of the cockpit, I will just uh, uh, fully book the cargo bay uh, so that my time spent uh, the The only problem is that you will see that then you don't have any uh, any violet outline to position the cargo, so you must uh, it's a uh, it's a little bit tricky uh, to position there, but it can be done as you will see uh, because this is uh, well the more cargo you hold uh, in your bay. Uh, the more profits uh, you will earn uh, per unit of time, so... Always try to have a full load of everything you do. Uh, with trading uh, you cannot do that because uh, you will only be able to purchase uh, 12 SUs of cargo uh, in this ship. Uh, but well, this ship is not meant uh, for doing trading. And I have also seen that they have improved the, uh, the commodity prices alert uh, information. The information now it's uh, uh, it's uh, it's better organized, so it's easier to to read. And that is also good for trading. Uh, here I found a, a big, uh, a big uh, piece, big part. Remember to use gimbal mode, uh, it's, it's easier.
and this uh, this part uh, has a lot of, of salvaging materials, so it's good. Finding a big, uh, big patch will also increase our profits per unit of time. Another thing uh, that I don't like uh, from a star citizen is that I cannot uh, uh, put the mark uh, of the coordinates uh, where I am now. Uh, so if I have to move, then I can come back. This cannot be done. Uh, so, uh, well. Now we have uh, eight boxes. Still a long way to go. <laughs> but well, uh, things in space uh, are slow, <laughs> are slow more. So <laughs> you, have to be, you have to be patient and uh, chill out. Uh, probably you will earn more credits uh, per unit of time uh, doing bunkers uh, or doing bounty hunting, uh, doing trading, but if you like to do this, it's okay. It's another uh, game mechanic. And of course, uh, if you uh, can purchase a reclaimer and uh, you have a crew of four guys, uh, uh, I think salvaging then it's it's, uh, it's bigger. <laughs> oh, thank God. Help me against these uh, I have some contacts. Uh, I think they are NPCs. Uh, <laughs> oh, I have been tra targeted. I have a radar lock on me. <clears throat> oh. is dangerous. Uh, let's see what happens. Uh, I don't have uh, any jump point uh, set and I don't like this. Oh, I see some... Oh, they are shooting at me. We'll just run away from here. Uh, let's see. 
let's get the hell out I don't want to lose my cargo I will try to to set a jump point uh, to to new Babbage. Okay. Uh, I should have done this uh, before uh, starting salvaging. Always have a, a jump point set, so you have to run away faster. Uh, you don't have to lose time uh, uh, setting it and so you, you have also it uh, you have already set it it's faster to run away okay I will just try to uh, to go back uh, and continue salvaging I, I don't have any radar lock now so <coughs> they were probably NPCs. Uh, they were not uh, human players. And you can also use that uh, that jump point as a reference uh, to avoid uh, flying in circles. And now, as, as you cannot uh, have a mark uh, on the last point you were salvaging, I have lost uh, my uh, that piece of uh, that piece of junk uh, I was salvaging. So I, I will have to scan for another one. And that was a good uh, a good salvaging. Uh, component okay there is another one there another thing I don't like from this ship is that when I target uh, something uh, it doesn't give me any readings on the distance so I don't know uh, the distance uh, I don't know the relative speed, uh, I don't know if I am close or not, I don't know if I am approaching fast or not, and I don't like it. So I am approaching carefully uh, in a non-collision path. I have no idea, I have no readings on distance and on relative speed, so... Uh, I am clueless, no info. <laughs> <coughs> Sorry. Oh, that's a C2. Uh, that's a C2 Hercules, that's a big ship. This is nice. The C2 Hercules is the best ship uh, for trading. Uh, I have one in the 
in the Leaf uh, server. And uh, I have done a lot of uh, trading videos. Uh, and I have earned a lot of money using this ship. It's an amazing ship. Uh, now I will use the, the bigger beams uh, because this ship is very big so I, I want to be able to have a more uh, a bigger uh, surface uh, to salvage with my beams. Remember that you are increasing the surface by 5.4 using the, the biggest uh, beams. But they are slower and they have less efficiency, but uh, as this is a big ship, uh, it doesn't matter. There is a lot of material here. Remember that you can also change the convergence, so... Okay, we are full again. Engines offline. Now we have uh, 10 uh, 1 SCU units of uh, salvage. And that is good. <laughs> And probably, uh, if we find uh, a C2, uh, we can have a full lot uh, in the vulture. So we can have the 23 uh, SCU of Savage with just uh, one C2 Hercules. Probably, I, I'm not sure. But there is a lot of material here to be salvaged. So. I have increased the convergence now, as you have seen. And as you see uh, now, uh, we are rather, we are salvaging uh, faster because there is a lot of materials here. Oh, a missile and contact. Uh, not really a lock on me now. Ah, let's hope. Uh, we can salvage all this you do.
But now we have a jump point set, so if I have to run, uh, I will be able to jump. Okay, we are full again. So we have two more boxes. Now we have 12 ICUs of cargo, and that's the maximum uh, that you can hold uh, in the cargo space. <coughs> but uh, I will try to uh, to use all the other space, and that is not uh, for cargo, but uh, well. They are probably NBC, so uh, I will just continue. As you can see now we are uh, we are salvaging uh, faster than when we were salvaging uh, those uh, IGC times. Uh, so this is good uh, for our profits per period of time. So that means that we should always try to find the big uh, salvaging uh, targets. <coughs> uh, but as always, uh, maybe we should, we should uh, when we find a, a target, we should scan it to see uh, if the scanner uh, provides us information regarding the, the type of, of target we have. Uh, Engines offline. Because if you are, for example, in a reclaimer and you only find the little ships to salvage, uh, it will be pretty damn slow. Uh, it can hold uh, 300 SCUs of uh, salvaging, so uh, for that's a big amount. Uh, now we have 15 SCUs, so imagine 300. Fourteen, sorry, we have 14 now. Well, uh, as you can see, uh, with a tactile beam, you can just uh, position the boxes uh, 
Di sini. But as you can see now, we don't have any violet outline because this is not the cargo space. Uh, but uh, well, we can do it. Two more. That's nice. Fourteen. Uh, we will be able to pick uh, 23 packages of salvaging, 23 SCU, so that's nice. Uh, <coughs> but uh, we will only be able to sell 22 because the, the last one uh, will be inside of the salvaging uh, processing unit, and so the TV will not detect it. But well, we will have one, already one, for our next uh, salvaging journey, so... Nice. Or if you want, you can always go back to the ship, uh, eject uh, the last box and sell it go back and sell it. It's up to you. We have another one that is currently ejecting. Let's be ejecting and let's continue gathering recycled materials. <laughs> again so two more boxes two more and as you can see uh, the biggest the target the faster you are salvaging so good And of course, if I can move uh, all these boxes, that means that pirates can also move them, so they can rob them. Okay, they can rob all your cargo from you. So that means that in the next patch, in 3.18, uh, there will be an increase in, in piracy. Uh, and that's also good because uh, the guys that like to do PRC, uh, now it was pretty... They could not uh, rob the cargo, it was... Uh, the only thing they can do right now is just run from you, is just say to you, okay, uh, pay me uh, an amount of Alpha USCs and I will let you go alive. That's the only thing they can do right now. Uh, and they have to put a lot of time and resources just for, for doing that, so... Well... You must like it, <laughs> to do it, because it's not worth it, but if you like it... There is a lot of material here. We are feeling it really, really fast. And I am happy with it.
<coughs> ok, ejecting one more. <coughs> Two more, two. Now we have 19 packages. That is good. Hmm. From 12 to 19, this is good. I don't know what the insurance company will think about this, but <laughs> I don't give it a fuck. Okay, ejecting one more. Another thing uh, you can do, of course, if you have a friend that also has a virtue, you can say, hey, 
come here because uh, there is a lot of material to be salvaged. Again, the boxes. I don't know if I can rotate the boxes with the tractor beam. Uh, I will investigate it. <coughs> so now we have 21 boxes, and uh, so we can uh, make uh, two more, and we'll have uh, 23 boxes. Uh, be nice. So, 12 SU of cargo, but uh, we've got a 23. <laughs> Online. I don't know if uh, carrying uh, 23 SUs uh, will affect the, the flight uh, mode of, of the ship, I don't know. Uh, it should, uh, because uh, <laughs> uh, we should have uh, more inertia. But uh, physics are not uh, very well implemented in this game uh, right now. So I don't think uh, I will have any problem flying the ship. If it was uh, another box, uh, if it was currently uh, implemented, I should have problems uh, while flying in uh, in gravity. In gravity, so landing, for example, or taking off. But uh, if you look at the technical specs of the ships uh, and you look at the mass of, of, of the ships, uh, you will see that uh, it makes no sense uh, because to move uh, these so massive ships, uh, you will need an incredible amount of power, uh, especially uh, with gravity. Uh, so. <laughs> it makes no sense. As you can see, the left beam is not gathering materials. Uh, some, some components uh, cannot be uh, salvaged.
Okay, we are full again. <coughs> and I think that's it. Uh, we are full now. So let's see if we can move. Uh, Tricky. Uh, and dangerous. Uh, I don't know if uh, these boxes can damage you. Uh, okay, we can eject one more. Yeah. And I think I cannot move. Uh, so we can. Uh, so we can generate another one. Mm. Uh, and I don't know if I can move this one. Uh. Mm. I cannot move. See if I can. No, I cannot. <laughs> no. Okay, so I will gather one more, and that's it. So now we have 22, uh, and then when I finish this one, I will have uh, 23. Uh, I will not be able to eject it, so I will go to the TV. Uh, a new Babach at the Commons uh, survey sentence, and, and I will sell that. And then I will see the profits we make and the profits per hour. And that's the most important thing for me, uh, knowing the profits per hour. And I will wait uh, to see what happens uh, during the after the next wipe, uh, when we have the 3.18, and if I see that uh, uh, salvaging with a butcher is worth it, I will probably purchase one uh, with real uh, currency. Okay, one more. Uh, we cannot reject it, so I will go back to the TV. Uh, I sell at the common surface entrance. Uh, I land at the, co at the surface, uh, at the common surface entrance because uh, there is no ATC there, so you don't have to lose time uh, landing in a hangar, uh, picking a train, going back to the commons and it's a lot of time, so I land at the, at the common surface entrance and I sell there, at the TV of the commons. I have cut at the jump uh, to Wabach. I normally, uh, when I approach uh, the surface of a planet or moon, uh, I fly in, in the cupid mode uh, just for the fun of it, uh, not because I am a good uh, pilot. Uh, but today I will not do it because uh, I don't want to risk uh, my my cargo. Uh, so I will fly in cupid mode. Uh, when you arrive at at uh, 
<clears throat> of Neil Babbage. Uh, to find the, uh, the commons, uh, just follow those, uh, that, that railway. Uh, and you will see uh, uh, five domes. Uh, those five domes are the commons at New Village. Land there, and then you will be able to enter uh, the common, uh, the common through the survey centers. I am using the boosters, as you can see, uh, to move faster. Now you can see the domes. Uh, And that's the commons, that's the surface entrance of the commons. The, the spaceport is following those uh, two railways uh, to the right. Uh, you can also land there and then pick the train, go to the commons, and, but it's a lot of time. Oh, four domes, sorry, four domes, uh, not five. And here you are in a monitored zone and in a long weapon zone, so it's safe. It's not 100% safe uh, because uh, they can ram you or they can steal your ship and crash it against the ground, but uh, well. <laughs> And this is the surface entrance. I will land there as close as possible to the entrance. Uh, uh, that blue, uh, that blue garage door is uh, where you can spawn ground vehicles. So when you land here, try not to to block uh, that door so that they can, uh, if other players need to spawn some ground vehicles, they can get out uh, from the commons garage. Okay. So try not to block uh, that exit. That blue door is the exit. Because if you cannot exit that uh, garage, uh, it's, it's a problem. And if uh, uh, they spawn a tank, uh, they can just uh, crash the tank against your ship and destroy it or move it. Uh, so it, uh, it's not good to block. Uh, Exits, okay. And now, as you have seen, I am getting out uh, from the from this ladder. I cannot get out from the cargo bay <laughs> because it's full. Uh, because I have used more of that uh, 12 uh, SU space of cargo. But knowing that I can exit the ship uh, from that ladder, it's okay. It's nice to. Uh, to be able to do so. Now we will see the profits uh, we make uh, when we sell. Also, I will see if I can sell a cargo that more than 12 SU units. I don't know if the GED will detect that I have more than 12 SU units of cargo. I'm not sure. So I also wanted to test it. <coughs> But I say that I will be able, so they they will detect all the cargo exit. Uh, the one box that is inside of the salvaging unit, that box will not be detected uh, because it's inside of the of that salvaging unit. So I will only be able to sell 22 of 23 boxes, but doesn't matter. I have one more. Uh, for the next time, or I can just go back, uh, eject it, and go back to the TV and sell it. It doesn't matter. Okay, let's see. Oh, I need to drink something. <laughs> oh. 
Okay, this is different also, they have changed this, uh, this hat. As you can see, it is detecting 22 ICU, so 10 and 12, the 12 that are in the, the default uh, cargo area, and the 10 more that I have there. So, nice. <coughs> uh, 77,000 of IUCs, not bad, not bad. This is good. And oh, 92,000. Oh, this is good. Good, good. So that makes a total of 169k uh, of AUCs. Uh, so that means that uh, I spent around two hours. So it means that I will make around uh, 85,000 of AUCs per hour. And that is good. It is really good. Now I need to drink something. Uh, uh, as always, drinking and eating is a pain in the ass because it's slow, it's buggy. Uh, it's a fucking disaster. Sometimes you cannot drink a, a full bottle. And it makes also no sense. Uh, <laughs> But well, oh shit, <laughs> fuck off, that's amazing, okay, uh. let's go back uh, to the Buchu and see if I can eject uh, that package, I like the ships from Drake, I, I also have a Drake cutter, uh, I had an Aurora, but I changed it to a to a Daikata. Uh, so I I, I pledge it for a for a cutter with uh, with lifetime insurance. So I now I have a as my starter ship I have a Daikata. It's better than the Aurora because uh, it has a cargo space. Uh, it has a cargo bay. It has a bed. Uh, you can do rock mining with it. So it's better than an Aurora. Okay, and this is our <laughs> 23 box. 